intelligence separation using the Google document split AI tool. So what you just saw in the previous version, we set up form types. The admin or someone that has job admin rights can go in to a document class, upload the different types of sample images that that form type would see, and the system will separate. Well, what happens if you're an end user, you don't have rights to do that, and you want to be able to leverage auto separation more on a machine learning basis. So Google came out with two types of what they call uh, document classifiers or splitters, one for procurement and one for lending documents. So procurement is your typical sales invoice, um, purchase orders, sales receipts. Now we are coming out with in our next release support for the Azure classifier. Right now, the Azure classifier is segmented to lending or procurement. So the benefit here is that we can leverage these tools um, and split basically a document based on full AI capabilities. Um, so you don't have to have these manual cover sheets. So let's take a look. Now in this use case, we're not extracting data. All we care about is, hey, separate and classify and tell us what it is. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. We're gonna come do our scan process and I'm gonna come into our Google splitter and we're gonna grab a document. In this case, it's a nine page document and there's different documents within it. So we have a car rental receipt. Again, this is procurement based. So we have your basic invoice. We have like a e-ticket for our airline. You got hotel bill, you got a utility bill, you got a receipt here. So anything procurement related, and we'll just close that. Okay, and again, we've already preloaded this into our here. So you'll see now, um, that particular nine page document gets separated in each one of them. And these are the document types that Google supports. So you have to work within their particular framework. Um, it's getting stronger and stronger, um, but you know there are some limitations as it relates to procurement documents. You can see here, these are your basic ones. Um, now, again, there is a lending side. So if you want to do mortgage documents, there's a lending splitter as well that comes with its own document classes. Note that the Azure one should be a little bit more flexible. As you can see, we can go through each and it figured out what each document was.